Good morning, tubers. It is Sunday morning, August 26th, and it's been a while since I did an update, and I just want to show you where I am in the gardening, fall gardening process. Uh, these are my starters. I've um, started all of them from seed, and um, I have been taking several of these uh, most of them I had several per uh, pot like this one and um, and that one's got three in it these are peppers um, and I separate them uh, and, and, and I'm planting them in these bigger pots until they're big enough to put in the bags or the buckets um, but anyway I'm I'm in the process of swapping out a lot of these. White flies are still playing games with me. I've had that one there. You can see she's she's struggling. I've been spraying the neem and the. Uh, I even put some uh, BT on it, I'm thinking you know what these things are sucking the nectar uh, or whatever they call it out of the plant. And um, so if they're eating the, you know, getting into those leaves, maybe they'll get some of that in them and that'll help too. Try a little of everything. But um, some of my newer cucumbers are starting to take off. The older ones, I'm still battling the white fly and, and having to replace those um, after they've produced a few. This is just really, this year has been just trying to stay ahead of the white fly. It's been a real battle. In fact, there's one flying around the lens of my camera right now. Anyway, he landed on my camera. What's that supposed to mean? Anyway, secretly I know in a little white fly language it's laughing. I'll get him eventually. I got uh, the good Lord help me out here. I, I'm praying that he takes care of this garden. Um, everything that I grow you know I give him glory for all of it because he is the uh, he is the creator and the sustainer of life so these are my peppers uh, this is this one these two right here and the white buckets are the peppers that I've had for the last uh, I believe three years uh, they're doing well um, habanero on this side and um, I believe habanero and jalapeno and these are bells that I, I actually bought those this year at um, Walmart they had a clearance early on and they were in bad shape but my melons are up there they're still growing they're not doing too much anymore uh, maybe just about done and uh, I'll be replacing those buckets up there with something, um, maybe some cauliflower because it is pretty shaded. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there. There's some more of the tomato plants that are struggling with white fly. I should be replacing those shortly. I have cleaned out the um, greenhouse and I have. Uh, brassicas going in here. Uh, those are um, broccoli over there, and there's I think there's nine broccoli and eight um, cabbage plants in here. Um, and I'm gonna finish that out with uh, probably some cauliflower. I can't get them to sprout. I've had some issues. I don't know why maybe it's the seed from last year don't know I may have to go buy some snowball um, cauliflower it's the one I like I must start bringing in some of the um, uh, tomato plants and and put them in here I'm still battling white flying here I got all of it out of here when I removed everything uh, but um, they 
they know where this place is at. I kind of cleaned that up a little bit over here. Here's my tools of um, of war. It's my neem and my um, diatomaceous earth and my BT and uh, pyrethrin. I'm trying it all. But anyway, I am. Oh, right in there. Daniel's got his little pineapple plants that he's had for the last three years or so, and uh, they were sitting underneath the uh, strawberry plants over there, and lo and behold, a runner got down in there, and it started itself, so we're going to let her, we're going to let it grow, see how, how well they do together. Don't know. We'll see. Blueberry plants, since I moved them, are, are making a comeback. They were in pretty bad shape totally shaded over there well I, I see now they need a lot of sun they were shaded out by all the uh, growth from this a great plant this grapevine is really starting to do well there is some pretty nice grapes they're not not too good <laughs> just not good they're um they're real tart. They're not ready yet. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick update. That basil, I'm going to cut the top off of it. And I'm going to show you guys how to root it in two days. Just kidding. Um, I'm just going to um, start trying to propagate some of that into a couple other um, plants. And uh, so I can spread it out a little bit. But anyway, that's where we are. Uh, fall garden is starting and um, it's it's bearable out here the greenhouse is bearable uh, I, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with the greenhouse to kind of winterize it I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be in here uh, before we move into our new place uh, we're still running into issues with that so um, and that's a whole nother video I'm going to show you maybe what I'm, I'm, I may do if we're here into the cold parts of the winter. With that, I have some extra PVC over there, so that may give you a little hint. So stay tuned. Um, I can't think of anything else. i still got my little guy there watching over the garden. Uh, doesn't do much with the bugs, though. Till next time. Go play in some dirt. God bless.